about uh, coaching those guys up. You had some uh, pretty impressive enthusiasm out there too, man. What did you get pumped up watching them do that? Man, I, I love this game, man. I love this game, and you know we haven't been able to play out here. I mean, just coming watching these guys competing, and showing who they are, and and battling. Uh, <sighs> No words can even express my just my emotion right now, and just to be a part of it, man. I gotta thank Nike, man, because it's just it's it's a great opportunity. Sue looked like he was running his mouth early, and then things got uh, maybe turned a little bit. You guys seem to have the momentum at the end. Did you feel like O Lion won that matchup? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Sue had a lot to say, man. We, we've been talking <laughs> about it back and forth the whole camp. Who's gonna be the, the winners of the O Line and D Line? And I think it's obvious today who won. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about what you guys are. You know, you're looking forward to this coming season. A little bit of questions at the at the quarterback position. You, you've got any idea what you guys might do in terms of Seattle finding somebody? Do you think Charlie's the guy? Uh, I mean, you know what? I, I really don't know who's gonna be the guy. Um, I'm kind of just as in the dark, but. Uh, I, I trust Matt and I, I trust Charlie, and most of all, I trust the, the decisions being made in the front office. And uh, they're going to put us in the best position to win. So, uh, regardless of who's back there, uh, um, the offensive line is coming to work. What, ki- what kind of training have you done during the lockout? I mean, you know, I mean, I know obviously you're on your own; and it's tough. And, but if you, if you, has Nike helped you with anything doing individual workouts, stuff like this? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've been training throughout this whole off season. Uh, you know, getting back to the basics, rehab and all that. And uh, just this week, uh, Paul Winsper, uh, I guess he's the guy here, uh, one of the trainers here at Nike. Uh, wow, he's uh, he's been very impressive, and I've got some good work with him as, uh, with uh, Santa Shanko as well as uh, Dominican Sue. And it's uh, it's been great, and uh, I'm just getting better. And uh, by the time uh, camp, camp rolls around, I'll be ready. Covering uh, the Seahawks all last year, this is about as excited as I've ever seen you, as animated as I've ever seen you. What is it about these kids that that, that turns that on for you? And then, what pointers were you giving them? Because I mean, certain guys have different technique issues. What kind of pointers were you giving them uh, during the drills? Uh, just the basics, man. The, the same things I've, I've been taught over the years. I'm hoping just to be able to coach them up a little bit, you know, and uh, just kind of give them uh, some things from my experience as well. Uh, whether it be from your, your hand placement or your body positioning, uh, I'm just giving a little bit of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zach Banner, what your uh, take on him? Oh, Zach Banner, he's just one of the, the Tacoma guy. He's yeah, like, Puyall, uh, yeah. Two Puyall, uh, he, yeah, He's a big old kid, man, but just like the rest of these guys out here, the sky's the limit. They're, yeah. all, they're only going to go up from here, and, and I really hope and I pray that they take this coaching and they take it home and they continuously work on it and as well as just get better. Have you talked to James Carpenter at all? Yeah, yeah. Me and James have talked back and forth a little bit. Um, l- looking forward, and we've got together a few times. We're looking forward to getting back with him. What's uh, the uh, Russell Okung scouting report on James Carpenter, future NFL right tackle? Oh, uh, you know, it's not my job to scout, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's not but my job. But you've jo- seen him. Yeah, I've seen him. He's a big guy. Yeah. He's a big guy. I, I know he's a physical guy. Great in the run game. Great in the pass game as well. And I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, not just him, but. Uh, you know, John Moffitt and the acquisition of other guys as well. That's uh, getting back to work. Julius Peppers was named uh, number 10 uh, current player overall in the N- recent NFL poll. Given the fact that you played against him really strong twice last year, what does that tell you about your game? Uh, I really can't really speak on it. You know, I, I had a lot of help from off the line guys, and, and uh, Julius Peppers is a great player, and uh, he's, he's going to go down as one of the best one day. But I, I really can't say it was an individual effort. You know, I, I really have to thank the rest of my offensive line just for, for being there to help me out with such a guy like him. What's the main thing that you learned in your first NFL season that you can take going forward? Uh, just being a better student of the game, uh, uh, understanding the, uh, how to be a better professional and how that game's going to go, and as well as holding on to those things. And, you know, just, just being out here, you know, learning that uh, coaching is very important and uh, you got to grab on to, you know, what you get and hold on to it and uh, hopefully manifest it to something great. In the little time you've had to t- talk to Coach Cable, if at all, with the lockout, what, I mean, pretty intense guy. What's the vibe hit you get off of him? Uh, he, he's an old line guy. Yeah. And uh, you got to respect the offensive line guy. He's going to work you. He's going to be hard-nosed. He's going to demand a lot out of you. And uh, that's just this type of mentality you want to have as a, as a team and uh, even a group. The way Hasselbeck organized that workout at the UW kind of held everything together. I mean, it's obvious the command he has on his team. And what, what was your experience with like with him like last year? Oh, with uh, Matt? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Matt's been he's been playing a long time. I've learned a lot from him. Uh, to, you know, as we're talking about, as being a more you know, better student of the game. Um, Matt's a veteran, and I'm, I'm hoping he comes back. And uh, just uh, 
have a lot more to learn. I, I look forward to playing with him in the future if he's there. Yeah. Are you getting excited? You feel like it's close? Maybe you're going to finally play some football here? You know, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just as in the dark as you guys, but I can't wait to get back out, out here. And these kids are only making it harder on me. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I can't wait to be back out. Yeah, it seems like a lot of excitement. Second year of Pete Carroll. Um, the whole experience with Pete coaching you, what was that like? Oh, yeah. Pete's a you know, guy with a high enthusiasm. He loves he loves the game as well as he loves the players and uh, a very positive guy. And then he's, he's rubbing off on all of us. Great. Thank Thanks very much. Right, See you back so. in Seattle. All right. Good stuff, man.